All right, guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in Mendocino County, California, which surprisingly, I guess, is not totally in flames today. Here on Thursday morning, August 6, 2015, and as the rest of the planet uh, celebrates the 70th anniversary of the atomic bomb dropping on Japan, I am back in Doomsday Chicken House doing this rant the second time because the chickens completely drowned me out, but I have choked the chicken. And I'm going to try this again. Uh, this rant is, what actually uh, this rant is, is, is titled, I think I'm going to title this one, Eco Nazi Advertises a Table for Sale on Craigslist. And this uh, story behind this, I'm in a little bit of my, my friend in Sebastopol where I've been staying the past few days is not happy with me now and I'm not happy with my cursor. Uh, anyway, she was, uh, was selling her dining table. Her dining table and she's not very uh, savvy with Craigslist and so she asked me if I would please do her a big favor and put an ad on Craigslist for her dining table for sale and uh, you know to write the ad and, uh, and post four photos with the ad and help her sell her table and I gladly agreed so anyway I spent a lot of time time and energy writing the copy getting the photographs together posting them and all of this because I'm such a nice guy and and I do her a favor and what does she do she gets pissed off at me I mean she really did get pissed off at me uh, for doing her a favor you know that this all the I've had rants before about no good deed goes unpunished so I am simply going to read you my ad for her table and see if the, you think this woman had any reason to be pissed off at me okay and then I will read the uh, ad that, that she actually approved but first this is the ad and I and, and guys I really am posting this ad in Austin Texas if you want to see the ad and the photographs illustrating it you need to go on the Austin Craigslist furniture for sale and uh, hopefully it'll be there okay <clears throat> posting title planet killing slab of wood masquerading as elegant French dining table price planet okay posting body just imagine the scream of the chainsaw and the shrieks of murdered baby orangutans as you enjoy the lovely lines of your elegant new slab of tropical hardwood masquerading as an elegant French dining table. You and your tribe of clueless yuppie scum will bask in the glow of the echoes of indigenous tribes bulldozed into oblivion for your consumer and lifestyle choices. As you and your friends sip your drought-inducing California wine and nibble on your Inca India killing quinoa. The slab itself has been well worn into a baby gorilla blood hued patina. One ruined planet and your wretched soul make it yours. Email me for more hypocritical, tree-hugging guilt trips. Thank you. And so then they want to know the maker of the table, obviously, would be Satan. The model name would be the orangutan blood. And the size and dimensions of the table are, of course, one ruined planet, condition salvage. And so anyway, I put this ad on to Craigslist, and my friend was, I mean, she got pissed at me, and she made me, she made me remove it. 
And as I say, you have to go uh, on my ad in Austin to see the uh, to, to see the photos illustrating this. So anyway, uh, after her lambasting me, I rewrote the ad to I forgot what it's titled, but <clears throat> table seats six comfortably without leaf. Add. 15 inch leaf for your parties. Really lovely lines make this table an elegant choice. It has been well worn, well worn into a casual patina. I think it is fruit wood. Then I give the dimensions, uh, call for quick response, $90 makes it yours. Many wonderful meals and great times have been had at this table so far. Table only for sale, no chairs are included. Thank you. So anyway, guys, you have now heard the two versions, and you let me know which version uh, you prefer of those two ads. Which one of those ads was the most honest advertising? My version, well, my the my first eco-Nazi version, or my second creative writing version? And let me know uh, again to. To see the photos, you'll have to go on the Austin Craigslist of furniture for sale. I do predict I will immediately be kicked off of the Craigslist community. And the last time I was kicked off of the Craigslist community was about 10 years ago, right after Hurricane Katrina, uh, when I was a clueless real estate uh, house agent and house flipper. And so after Katrina, I thought, and to this minute, I don't see what people had a problem with. I offered sight unseen to write a check for your flooded out property in the Ninth Ward. And, I, and it sounded like a win-win situation to me. Still does to this minute. I don't understand why the vitriolic hate mail that I got, uh, good God, for being so kind to, to offer these victims of Hurricane Katrina a, a, a lot of money for their flooded out house. Uh, I got about uh, 50 uh, emails from uh, people, none of them in New Orleans, because there was no, you know, there was no internet in New Orleans. Uh, you know, from all of these bleeding heart, little limp dick lefties, you know, talking about what a, you know, what a clueless asshole monster I was for uh, helping these guys out. So anyway, but anyway, I'm getting hungry sitting out by this uh, chicken house, but I'm coming back at you just with a real quick no kidding aside, hats off salute to my old new Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, that one percenter, Warren Buffett. So, but I'll come back for that short rant for this rant. Bye, guys.